well as a, as a church. Special day today. I want to thank Dennis, Tammy, for bringing all the veggies in. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. All the proceeds go into uh, the youth group to go to Momentum uh, in November. And then, of course, the bake sale, too. If you, if you want healthy food, you go back here. If you want sweets, <laughs> sit down, Mark. You go back here. Amen. Okay, well, there's some healthy stuff back here, too, Dennis says. That's good. Amen. I'm going to have you stand. We're going to pray, and we'll begin the service this morning. I've been uh, meditating on uh, several scriptures in the last few days, but this one is one that I really um, appreciate so much. The Lord gave this to me back in 2013 when I was going through some things, but this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17. And Paul writes this at a time which was a very difficult time in his life. He was facing death. He wasn't sure how the churches he'd established were doing. He was scared to death they were going to get either inundated with Jewish believers who were going to make the Gentile Christians get circumcised and do all these different things to be Christian, and he knew that wasn't right. Plus, there was a thing called the uh, Gnostics that was going around that was saying you didn't need to be born again. You just had to know God. Gnostic in Greek means to know. So he was about ready to die, and he was really afraid that the churches that he had established were going to crumble. And he says here, he says in verse 17, the Lord has stood with me and strengthened me. I have needed that these last few days. And I want you to know it's real, because the Lord has stood with me and strengthened me. And here's the reason why, so that the message might be preached fully through me, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And he said, also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the enemy. Amen. Verse 18, this is a great declaration. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. The Lord will Thank deliver you. me from every evil work. Do you believe that? Yes. yes. You need to take that to heart. Really make that a core belief that the Lord will deliver you from every evil thing the enemy has planned. God will frustrate that. Every door the enemy's trying to close, God will open and he can't stop them. Hallelujah. So the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now this morning, we have a chance to give God a little bit of glory. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Grab the hand of the person next to you. We're going to pray. Invite the Holy Spirit in here to do his thing. We need him this morning. Nobody can do what the Holy Spirit can do. No one can fake it. No one can make it happen. We can't do it without you, Holy Spirit, today. So... Holy Spirit of God, we invite you in this morning. Our hearts and minds are open to receive. Holy Spirit, we ask you to speak truth to our lives. Help us to change, to learn, and to grow, to be all that you've created us to be. And Lord, let us today just have our own song of praise to you. Help us today, Lord, to sing praise and honor and glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your glory in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. Hug somebody. Holy amen. Spirit is here. Tell them. Hallelujah. Sometimes I think, what will people say of me? I'm only just a memory. When I'm home where my soul belongs Was I loved When no one else would show up Was I Jesus to the least of us Was my worship more than just a song I want to live like that
you are who you say you are The grace could really change your heart Do I live like your love is true? People pass And even if they don't know my name Is there evidence that I've been changed? When they see me, do they see you? The love you gave to me Longing for the world to know The glory of the King I want to live like that And give it all I have Everything I say and do Points to you Every giant is calling out a fighter. Every 
but not defeated. I'm worn out, but not giving up. Hit ground, even at rock bottom. Yeah, I'm just getting started. Yeah, I'm just getting started. You throw down, but not defeated.
in death. In death, in life, I'm confidently covered by the power of your great love. My debt is paid. There's nothing I can separate my heart. Never fails and never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up, never runs out on me. Your
in a bad place, you're in the right place. The altar's right here. Come on up. There's something you need to give to God. There's something you haven't given up yet. Today is the day. chains to fall. Today's the day. Give it up. It is the day. And Jesus is the one that will do it for you. He's speaking to you. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Yes, he is. Have you come to the end of yourself? Oh, there's for a drink from the well. well Jesus is calling. Hallelujah. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was born with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Leave behind your regret and mistakes come to death there's no reason to wait well Jesus is calling bring your sorrows and change them for joy yeah, from the ashes a new life is born well Jesus is calling Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide, forgiveness was born with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar.
song is saying that God wants your heart. He yes. wants you surrendered to Him. Yes. So if there's anything that's holding you back from really living in the Spirit, that's what He's asking you to do is surrender yourself and surrender your all to Him. That's the only way that you can really live free. Yes. Don't live in regret and sin and bondage. Get on the altar and make it right with the Lord. Be safe. That's what this song's saying. Hallelujah. Yes. You found. Oh, what a treasure in Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Lift your hands and worship Him. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise and honor today. Give you honor and praise. Hallelujah. 
Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And with me, if you would, just for a second, if you're seated, we're just going to give God a little bit of extra time here today. Hallelujah. I know some of you are tired. It's been a difficult week. But God says just get up, stand up, get your hands up. Hallelujah. Surrender to him this morning. Hallelujah. Sometimes I feel like Monty Hall. It's time to let's make a deal. God wants to make a trade with you. Yeah. You know what they used to say on Let's Make a Deal, right? Come on down. The ER is always open. If you need something from God this morning, today's the day to get it. Don't leave home. Don't leave home without it. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you this morning for your grace. We give you together as your body, as the body of Christ here in Derby Street, New Life Fellowship. We give you honor. Give you praise. God, everything good that's being done, we thank you that it's being done by you. We give you praise for that honor and glory. He's taking you back. Hallelujah. You may have strayed, but he's taking you back with open arms. Today is the day. You're never too far gone for God. You're the best, oh God. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, yes, God. Yes, my God. Hallelujah. He sees each one of you. Oh, help us to practice today. Praise and worship. Hallelujah. we adore him for our children, our husbands, our spouse. We adore him for all the good that he's done because he cannot do evil. He can allow it to happen sometimes because we are the ones that turned away. It's never him. We never turn away. He never turns away from us. We are the ones that pull from him. So today, if you want him to take you back, he's right there with open arms. He's taking us back. Over and over. Oh, I failed you, God. No. You are never too far gone from me. What a good father you are. Oh, Lord, we're so thankful for your presence today. Lord, we thank you for moving in our lives. So many people that are here today are living evidence of your existence, oh Father God. We thank you for what you did at the cross. You were spat on, beaten, whipped, called names, and tortured. Nails driven through your flesh and bone so we could live. So Lord, I ask you to to move in this place and those that don't know you, that don't have spiritual life, that are, that are continuing to walk as the dead, that you would wake them up, that you would open their hearts and their minds, and they would understand what's been going on around them. The world has a, is a huge distraction. The world is conforming in a different direction, away from the Word of God. So I ask you, Lord, to anoint us with your spirit and fill us so we can see the truth about what's going on around us and we can see what is going to bring glory to you. I ask you to fill the pastor with your spirit right now, Lord, and anoint him. As he speaks today, Lord, may it be your words and your voice speaking through him. And may it pierce the greatest blockades that people put up around them. May that, may that sword of the word pierce right through that. Yes, God. We thank you for you, your Savior, 
power, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Lord. Amen. What a good looking group today. You guys are awesome. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank God for the worship team. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, let's do this before you're seated. Hug somebody and tell them you love them. Amen. Tell them God loves them. And they're not alone. Amen. Wow. Awesome praise and worship. I needed this today. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.